What's up, YouTube? Just showing a little something that I've been working on, getting it together. Been basically repairing and calibrating my ground station to get it to act right. So, here we go. Just doing that thing. Wanted to make sure that you know, I got the equipment synced up, acting right. And I'll go for a little tour. Now, while y'all looking at that screen, I'm going to have to turn on and check out this screen. And very soon, you know, after I hit the search and sync function, I should get the same video that I've got on there within a couple more seconds. So, real soon. Three, two, one. Yeah, we connected. I'll wear these. Y'all check that out. Give me a moment. See how well I can move around. That's what happens when you jump a very steep hill. Kind of uh, definitely saw some 3D action there. Hope y'all appreciating the view. You know, you know, when you ain't looking at nothing at all, you still got to get fine-tuned and used to rolling around without uh, using your natural eyes, just relying on a monitor. Now, it's in some ways relaxing and easy, and in others, you know, it can get challenging. I'm multi-streaming at the moment, so I've got one, well, the exact same view on my small remote ground station, which I'll show y'all. Give me a moment. take a little trip you've already seen the goggles you know how those do well my remote ground stations do very similar here's one set up right here and that's literally a nice little setup that i put them on that way i've got a very lightweight rechargeable by usb ground station is portable and then I've got one I can literally plug into the outlet. Powers up the receiver and the monitor. And then I've still got an outlet open on the system that I set up to uh, charge my 1860 battery cells. 
or utilize the solar charge controller depending on how long I'm going to be outside. Anyway, hope y'all appreciating the view. Time for me to go ahead and roll back on from these obstacles and do what I do. that Pretty decent setup, you know, browse on eBay. Wanna look for like some 5.8 gigahertz receivers. Multiple channels is always good. Usually makes them more compatible with several different brands. And every now and then, you know, you may actually be closed into getting goggles and transmitter from the same brand. And it's very rare, you know, for 5.8 gigahertz systems. But for example, there's Fat Shark and then there's a lot of not even brand name or foreign brands that work well together anyway as you see pictures nice and clear i was able to mount my camera you know within the view of actual behind the windshield and behind the steering wheel so you can actually get that real perspective of rolling around nice little hobby relaxing that one there was actually a buggy that i converted into a truck so anyway it's venom g wild foe just thought i'd stop through with a little bit of footage show you a little bit of progress i'm making uh yeah i've got a ways to go finish that indoor crawling and i guess stunt track a few ramps i'm gonna throw on it that's my current project other than a spray area so i can practice airbrushing but anyway glad y'all stopped through to check me out check out my little section i had going like i said y'all was watching that screen and i was watching on this screen same view only difference is I was able to, how should I say, navigate within this little closed environment while y'all did the same on that one there, even clearer. They both got the same about resolution, wider screen on that one. Nice run cam, so it tells me the power of my battery for my transmitter of such. Um, this here, I don't have to worry about a battery because I plug it on in, use an extension cord for extra, you know, reach put a sunscreen on it so I get less distortion from the light that actually radiates off the screen. And yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with the setup. I actually built it a couple of years ago, but due to some damage to certain parts, I had to replace them and find the right ones to replace them with that were compatible with my multi-camera system. Still not broadcasting for more than one camera at a time, but I've seen some systems that do it. I'm just not going to spend the penny for it yet. I'm going to continue to customize them vehicle per se and have multiple options to view it so that one battery dies, plug in, or utilize the mini ground station or the goggles. Anyway, it's been nice. Glad y'all came through to chill with me for a minute. Hope you enjoy the little bit of what you've seen and that you can basically understand it in some way, shape, or form. I tried to explain it, but anyway, this is Venom G54, and I'm out. Till next time.